I leave. Let's watch this. Um, have you guys seen this? So this is a there's a trailer here for the Wings and Boogie fight that's meant to be happening very very soon. In oh oh, it's in the Wembley Arena. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Maybe I'm gonna have to go check that out. Let's see this. Wings is boxing, flipping boogie and they put together a flipping trailer for it let's see what this is saying this is going to be quite interesting to see i'm gonna have to go see this in real life actually wings of redemption v boogie 2998 800 pounds one ring trailer that's a really good big up keemstar 800 pounds one ring hilarious is that what wings's house looks like it looks a lot better than on the outside than i thought it would look like i don't know why i thought it would look like a flipping like a dumpster because they always call it a mobile home but it looks pretty decent for a mobile home right it's all one floor so if you're fat you have to walk upstairs and shit decent the home of wings redemption Fayetteville Arkansas The home of Boogie2988. He's got three cars in the driveway. Fucking hell, Boogie. Yeah, peace crash. Take care, brother. <laughs> ah, let's play that again. Look at Wings and Jabs. Wings is quite flexible for somebody that fat, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> He's in full squat with his heels on the floor. Jesus Christ. He's way more flexible than I am. The amount of work I have to do to get myself in that position prep-wise. Opening up my hip flexors and my ankles and stuff to get myself in this position. And he's just doing it like on the whim. Fuck me. He's oddly, 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 oddly flexible for somebody that big. Look at that. He's actually in a full squat. Knees out, toes pointed slightly forward, flat feet, not on his heels. That's pretty decent. <laughs> That's pretty decent. The history with me is I didn't show up to the, uh, the camping trip, which I've showed up to everything else. I, like, I've always put it this way. I literally flew to Mexico. This guy's in his mid thirties, isn't it? Streaming online is fucking stressful for some people. Jesus Christ, bro! Look at that. He looks like a forty-year-old man or more. He's like in his mid thirties, I think so, if I'm not mistaken. And paid a man that doesn't speak English to cut my stomach out. You could do more damage to that back, and that back is barely. Why? Why have they all got little pets in their hands? Is this like a YouTuber thing? streamer thing to make to be happy make people happy, make people sympathetic or empathetic to you or whatever that fucking word is like what's going on here they all have these little dogs on their flipping laps on their stomachs well none you could end up having a stroke or heart attack you get punched in the chest you can create a clot there's all kinds of things that can happen here why are you doing this and the reason i'm doing this is because it is dangerous right like that's the thing that i've always been afraid of man you know, trying to rah rah. You're just doing it because you need the money, man, and you love the attention. Shut up. Uh, we were doing pad work with him. He's put in the work. Also, Keem. Wings isn't flexible. He just fell down and can't get up. <laughs> nah, th that was flexible, Uche. That's a proper squat. He's got his back straight and shit. Like, this guy looked good. That was a squat. That is a squat to me. Well, I'm rubbing along the flipping timeline. That looks like a fucking squat. He's sat. That's perfect squat form. I know because I, I love doing a good old air squat. I love doing back squats and stuff in the gym. 
That's really good form, actually. Oddly enough, annoyingly so. But yeah, that'll be hilarious. He flipping dropped a Pepsi and then he couldn't find it, so he just sat there. <laughs> also, Kimsa, change this beard design, please. This pointy beard thing is horrendous. Like, he's hitting the pads hard. Pads hard? He basically says it doesn't matter. He's knocking you off. Oh. With what? I mean, like, the dude's got... Also, why doesn't Keem box somebody? Why isn't Keem boxing somebody? Who hates Keemstar out there? Oh, Ethan. Yeah, why don't Ethan Klein and Keemstar fight? That would be a good one. I'd watch that. That would be really good. Yeah, arthritis in his fucking hips. What? What is all this? This is my haunted house stuff. You see this out every year, man. It last as long as it was as strong as that chair. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you on Pornhub or Jesus Christ, man. Look at these guys. <laughs> no, man, I'm checking Twitter. You know me. Just like I don't care if the YouTube thing works out or not. Like honestly, it was great. The good experience of life. I wouldn't change it. What the fuck is that shit on his head? Is that a rash? Sunburn. But if I have to move on, do something else. It's, it is what it is. I'll be honest with you. One of the things I'm fighting for here is this collection. I don't want to. I don't want to lose some of the cool shit that I have. Ladies and gentlemen, Drama Alerts and Happy Punch presents Boogie 2988 Wings of Redemption. <laughs> 800 pounds, one ring. <laughs> this is the weirdest boxing fight I've ever seen in my life because. They neither have made any effort to lose weight. Neither have made any effort to hire an actual professional boxing trainer of any way, shape or form. They're both attempting to learn how to box on their own, in their homes. They're both chronically, you know, fucking lazy. They're both incredibly overweight, lack motivation to do anything. So they're now suddenly having to motivate themselves to train for a boxing fight adequately. Like, this is going to be a horror. Boogie can just about move, right? He looks like he might need to be on the flipping walk. You know, he might have to have one of those flipping assisted walking chair things very soon. Just because of the way his legs are, I don't know, he just stands really strange. He's always like flat footed. He looks like he's always in pain. Wing, wings is probably not that dissimilar this is gonna be an absolute shit show like legitimate shit show like but i'm just yeah again none of them has hired anybody to actually help them flip in with the boxing they're just teaching themselves through what youtube is that what they're both doing like what's going on here man like what are we doing here like no one's got any training like for all the money they both make, they couldn't afford a, a couple of trainers to come out and flip in, train them a bit. They're just doing their shit in their garden, hoping for the best. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, mate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Look at this. Oh, what a sad existence, man. But anyway, big up them. Um, hopefully it works out for them and whatnot. Hopefully it works out. Anyways. This is the end for me, unfortunately, my friends. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. This has not been the best stream in the world. Loads of tech issues here and there. As you can see, the tech issues continue. If you're watching this, it's a complete black screen. If you're listening, you won't have a scoop of what I'm talking about. But it's been a bit of a mare. It's been a bit of a nightmare, but it is what it is. We will, you know, we will try and make things right the next stream and try and put our best foot forward before that or no i will try and put my best foot forward because i'm the one that fucked it up not you guys <laughs> and then they'll come back better and stronger come back better and stronger